Hello everyone. Welcome to the 3ds Max tutorial session. Today we are looking into the plugins or the scripted glue plugin that can be applied in 3ds Max. So in front of you we have the 3ds Max interface where we have opened up this perspective viewport. So let us make a plane. So to make a plane, go to create on the right hand side, click on the plane and let's click and drag to create a plane on the face. So here we have a plane and note that we have quite a number of segments. Note that we have divided the plane into quite a number of segments here. I've given 200. The length and the width is 200 so that the plane becomes more flexible. Because next we are going to add noise modifier to the plane to make it wavy or to make it flexible. So in order to add the noise modifier, go to the modifier tool which is the second box next to create. Oh, it is the second box right on top on the right hand side. So under the modify list, check for noise. Here we have the noise. Click on the noise modifier. And noise has been applied to the plane. But we can't see any wavy formation or any undulations on the plane. So increase, go to the strength below the noise. In the parameters go to strength and let us give a number a quite a big number I'm gonna type give 50 for strength on the z-axis because we want to undulate the plane on the z-axis so yeah so that has undulated the plane it's made it wavy just a bit so now I'm gonna click on the plane Going up, I'm going to click on the select or the move and just move it up on the bit on the z-axis so that we can see the plane clearly and nothing cuts through our plane. Um, let us add a bit more undulation. So going down to strength again, I'm going to give it 100 on the z-axis or maybe 200. Let's see what will happen. Okay, 200. 200. And I'm going to move the plane up a bit, a bit more so that it's quite clear. There you go. When I click outside the plane, I can see how much undulated the plane is. Sorry. Yeah. So that's your plane. Oh, so that's the plane we've created. <clears throat> now, in order to apply the glue plugin, it wouldn't be readily available in the 3ds max software version so let us go to our internet explorer or our google chrome to access the internet and type in www.scriptspot.com and in the script spot go to 3ds max right up top here go to scripts and under scripts, you could type in glue because we're going to go, go look for glue or you can also type in scripted glue because that's the name of the plugin and search for it. So here you go. We've got the scripted glue and click on the scripted glue and we have to download it. So I've already downloaded it and saved it on my desktop. So once you've downloaded the scripted glue and saved it, go back to 3ds Max and here we have to bring in the glue. So how we do that is go to Max Script option up on top in the menu drop down bar. Click on Run Script and on Run Script here we've got the desktop and I have saved the scripted glue 3ds Max plugin on the desktop. So I'll be using this file here, the scripted glue. Click on it and click open. Beautiful. 
So here we have a small window, which actually is the plugin, the scripted blue plugin. So we can apply our plugin in our 3ds program now so in order to apply the plugin i would i'm going to create a few more objects on the screen so let's create go to create button go to geometry and click on teapot so i'm just going to click a, create a teapot and i've created it behind the so i'm going to move it a bit go up to move and I'm going to move the teapot so that it we have it above our I'm going to move the plane down a bit so we can <clears throat> sorry about the weight so we're just going to move it so that Let's move it above because I want this teapot above our plane. Here you go. You also have a shadow to it. So we have the teapot above the plane so that we can clearly see how our glue, scripted glue plugin would work. All right. All right. So let's create another box or maybe a plane, a very clear plane again. So I've created a plane. I'm going to move the plane up a bit on top of our undulated surface so that we can really see what's happening. So I've moved it again. So it doesn't, it has been moved so that it doesn't touch onto our surface because I want to show you how we glue it onto the surface. Yeah. So the plane looks a lot segmented. Let's go to the segments of the plane and let's change it to, a, you know, a smaller value. We don't need any segments of the plane or, yeah. So here you go. You've got the plane. Cool. So now we're going to use our scripted glue. So in order to use our scripted glue, let, we have to pick a base object. So here the base object is our undulated or the noisy plane. So I'm going to click on pick base object and click on our plane. So plane 003, so that's the base object. It has been selected. Now in order to glue the teapot, I'm going to click on it's the Z, the negative Z, because we are bringing it down. Yeah, so that has already been selected. So that's the direction in which it has to move. So it's the only one which has to be selected. Go down to surf align and click on it as well. Tick off, tick on the surf align and click on the object to glue. And click on glue on the window, the glue window. There you go. You have the teapot glued onto the undulated surface according to the surface which is perfect that's what you want now let us do that to the same plane the plane here we here the plane is very rigid and it is only it is not a 3d it is a 2d on the xy plane so let us see if we can make the two-dimensional plane a 3d by um, so completely merging it with the undulated surface so again click on glue see that's good so it has aligned or changed its direction to go and stick on our undulated plane as it is so it has not changed shape so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to just try out many other options i'm gonna tick on the glue mesh vertices and let's see what happens i'm gonna click on glue again okay <clears throat> so this is what we have the plane has moved a bit and it has glued itself onto the surface again let us increase the segments of the plane gonna give it a 20 
so we will see if it becomes undulated. Yes, I'm gonna do glue again. There you go, you've got it. So when you add segments, it actually tries to align the mesh of the straight two-dimensional plane with the mesh of the undulated plane. So here you go, you've got it. You've got it correctly, exactly aligned to our plane, to our undulated plane, which is perfect. So this is what we want. And this is what I wanted to show you today. Thank you everyone for listening to the tutorial. Hope you have a lovely, lovely time and hope you enjoy doing 3ds maths and enjoy working out different other scripts as well because it's not just scripted glue we have all different other kinds of scripts available in our scriptspot.com thank you